Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day eight. Pause. Come, let's sit. Hmm, come sit either on a block if you wish or on a pillow. Light your candle. Maybe some aromatherapy. You come into your senses. So notice the temperature of the room that you're sitting in. Your feet, your hands, your face are possibly feeling the air. And then there's the clothing that you're wearing. Notice the temperature differences in those places. Feel the weight of your body, the sense of gravity as it mm, anchors you, as you feel the pressure of weight the contact of weight, the volume, the density of weight, the isness of weight. Be present to the weight of you right now. And then notice your breath as you inhale. As you exhale, in the midst of the temperature of your body, the clothing that you're wearing, the weight of your body and your breath, what are you aware of inside you? That sense of the inner landscape of you. What does it feel like in this moment? Can you rest in stillness with the inner sense of you? Can you pause with this? Nice, wonderful. So today again is the elements of this class are a seated class again. So just come to the middle of your mat. Nice. And then just open and close your toes a few times. Nice. And then roll your ankles in big circles. And as I do this, I'm lengthening through my spine. I'm feeling the rise up through the top of my head and then roll in the other direction. Slide your feet up towards you, hold on to your ankles, bring your feet to the floor, lean forward, and then lean back, stretch your legs long, and then lean forward towards your thighs. Lean back, hold on to your feet, pause in the air, and bring your feet to the floor, lean forward. And as you move, see if you can track, lean back, stretch your legs long, forward can you track and be with a sense of slowness in yourself feet in lean forward and then lean your back legs forward lean forward so begin to notice what changes in you as you lean forward and lean forward 
Nice. Sweep this right foot over to the side, as far to the right as it'll go. Lean forward. And bring your foot forward. And then bring your left foot as far to the left as it'll go. And so the easiest version of this is that your opposite hand comes to the floor as you do this. Okay, so I'm leaning my hand to the floor and my weight is being supported by the hand on the floor. Okay, next version of this is that you bring both hands forward as you step your foot back, lean into your belly, forward. So my hands are forward or as your foot goes out to the side, you bring your arms overhead. Nice. Next time your left foot goes left, pause. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Surge down strongly into that right leg and twist towards the left. You can just bring your hand either to the floor behind you using it as scaffolding or you can bring your hand to wrap around the back of your body. So my left hand is resting at the back of my right hip and I'm sitting really tall. I'm getting taller and taller through my body. I have a sense of breath in my belly. Nice. Bring both hands either side of the right leg and now wave that left knee down and then back. And move slowly as you do this. Down and then back. Down and back. So now both hands are pushing into the floor. How back can your left knee go? And then how forward can your torso go? So you're creating a, an opposite direction happening here. Left knee is traveling backwards, right knee is traveling forward, or right leg and you are traveling forward. Pausing. Nice, change. Bring the left foot forward. Step the right foot as far to the right as you can. Hold on to your right knee with your left hand and either bring your right hand behind you into scaffolding or wrap your right hand around the back of your body. And so it's resting at the back of your left hip. Sit up really tall as you do this. Nice. Bring both hands either side of that left leg and now drop your right knee down and then bring your right knee as far back behind you as you can. And so I'm listening to my knee, I'm listening to my body, I'm really gauging what the range of my leg is in wellness. And so only move as far as you feel comfortable with, always adapt according to this side, this moment today in your body, this, that sense of really an evolving relationship to the physicality of you. Next time your leg goes back, drop your torso forward and pause there. Nice. Bring your foot all the way forward. Roll into your belly. So as you roll, have a sense of the skipping rope of your spine or the mobility of your rib cage. The sense of how your belly moves. I'm getting a sense of how something up here in my chest moves as I do this. I'm really exaggerating the movement of my collarbones. Nice. So 
sit with your feet flat on the floor and hold on to your knees and really hold your knees. You can either hold behind or in front as you wish. Sit up really tall. And then round your back and draw your forehead down towards your knees. And then sit up really tall, pulling on your knees with your hands. And then round your back, draw your forehead down in the direction of your knees. Sitting up tall. And then down in the direction of your knees. Super. So from here, sitting up really tall and feel what you do to sit up tall. What parts of you engage? There's something in the, in the deep of my sides of my pelvis. There's a lengthening in the front of my belly. There's an opening and a pulling backwards into my shoulders. Nice. Lift your right leg up off the floor. Bend your knee. Other side, left leg lifts. You can hold on to it as much as you need to. And down. Nice. Slowly rolling backwards. Traveling back. Land on the floor with your spine. And then rock your knees from side to side. Just feeling into your belly. Feeling into your pelvis. Feeling into your lower back as you move. Nice. Squeeze the right knee up towards you. Hug it in. Feel the weight of your back into the floor. The sense of this squeeze of your knee is creating a sensation of contact with the floor. Can you get really heavy into the weight of your back on the floor? Can you breathe into that weight on the floor? Nice change. Squeeze the left knee up towards you. Feel the weight of the back of your body on the floor. And as you breathe, feel like you can breathe into that contact of your lower back. And really deepen into that sense of slowing things down, pausing, connecting. Nice. So interlock your fingers and bring your hands behind the back of your head. And then bring your ankles and knees together and roll over onto your left side. So my two elbows are either side of my head and my knees are together. Keep your knees together and slowly draw your right elbow to the floor behind you. And then slowly come back. Draw your elbow forward. And as you do this, notice how you move and how far the movement is wholesome for you in your body. Elbow comes back. Elbow comes forward. Elbow goes back. Elbow goes forward. One more time. Elbow goes back and pause there. So your right arm is back towards the floor. And your left knee is on the floor and your left right leg is above it. How would you get your right shoulder a little bit more connected to the floor? How would you lengthen your breath through the right side of your body? For me, I create length with my right knee travels with intention away from me. So I'm lengthening out of my hip down to my right knee. And then I'm drawing my torso backwards towards the floor, creating length through the front of the right side of my rib cage. Nice. Come all the way back, both elbows on top of each other. And then come to land on the floor with your spine, hands behind the back of your head, feet on the floor. Thighs together, knees together, roll over to the other side. So roll over onto your right side. And then both elbows travel over towards the right as well. And then just let your left arm travel back towards the left. And then come back towards the right. Left arm goes left. 
and then go to the right. Left arm goes left, pause. So again, I'm creating intention down into that left knee and then lengthening my belly, drawing my chest backwards and breathing into the long line from my left armpit to my left knee. How would you get more of your shoulder on the floor? Nice. Mm, knees back to center. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. And then just do a shoulder shrug here. So reach your fingers up towards the ceiling. Drop your shoulders towards the floor. Fingers up. Mm, shoulders down. And as you reach your fingers up, can you really push your spine backwards so that your whole rib cage is moved by the action? Shoulders back. Your back arches. Fingers forward. Your back flattens. Just feel that. How big of a movement can you create into your shoulders, into your torso right now? Nice. Arms long beside you. And then begin to roll up and down along your spine. So as you travel up, push your hips upwards. And then steadily, slowly roll downwards. Traveling up. And traveling down. Traveling up, pause halfway up. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling and do your shoulder shrug here now. So as you shoulder shrug, something changes in the shape of your spine and let that happen. So as I pull my shoulders back, my rib cage lifts. And as I reach my fingers forward, my rib cage scoops a bit backwards. And then reach your fingers more up towards the ceiling. And then squeeze your bum and lift up through your hips. So we've connected and stabilized the rib cage by reaching our fingers upwards. There's a scoop in our rib cage. And now push your feet down and lift your hips. So there's this sense of, I think there's always like this S shape in my spine as I do this. My legs are strong, my bum is squeezing, and I'm lifting up more and more through the spine as I reach deeply up towards the ceiling. Breathe into your belly. Slowly rolling down. Nice. Cool. Roll all the way over. Come up into a seated position. And then come into a cross-legged position. So whichever way that you like being in a cross-legged position, whether you place a, a block under your bum, roll up your yoga mat, have a cushion, see what you need, and then bring your hands to your knees and sit up tall. So we're going to try that same movement we did a moment ago. So lift your chest and bring it forward, and then round your back and scoop your ribs backwards. So I'm just, I'm creating the cat cow, but I'm only moving my spine and my ribs. My head's not really moving even. So draw your chest forward. And then scoop your chest backwards. Forwards. Backwards. Forwards with your ribs backwards with your ribs and now include your whole spine so as you draw your chest forward allow yourself to pull gently with your hands so your back arches and then as you round i'm kind of pushing a bit into my knees i feel not really but i'm rounding my back and i'm including my lower back and my head now arching lift your chest lift your head arch your back and then rounding scoop deeply my pelvis is rolling under Arching and rounding. How deeply can you make this movement in your body? What's the right level of intensity for you as you create this movement? Nice. Lean back, change the cross of your legs. 
This time, bring your arms forward in front of you and we'll create a similar movement. Squeeze your shoulders back, let your chest lift forward. Reach your fingers forward, let your chest scoop back. But my head's not really moving as I do the first layer. So it's only my shoulders doing a shoulder shrug. Squeeze your shoulders back, reach your fingers forward. Nice. Now round your back, rounding into the lower back as well, round your head forward, and then arching, look up as you squeeze your shoulders back. Rounding. So you're really doing the full cat cow in a seated position. One last time. Nice. Hold on to your knees, sitting up tall. Pause. Nice. So stretch your legs out long and remove the block from under your bum. Nice. And then just either bend your knees and drop your head down towards your knees or keep your legs straight and drop your head down towards your knees. And remember to move in this position. So you're not going rigid or staying in intensity. You're moving. A little bit of movement in many different places. Can you move your neck in an interesting way for your neck, in a way that really feels like it eases or softens something out in your neck? Make the movement smaller. Make the movement smaller, but keep moving, but be really snake-like or like it's just like breathing how your spine is moving. But don't get rigid. Stay moving, stay connected. If you find that you cannot access the movement in your lower back, then you've gone too deeply. Nice, come lie on the floor, all the way down. Land on the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart, or rest in whatever resting position suits you. And just pause. Pausing, staying there, feeling the connections you've created, deepening into the sensations in your body, being with what is. Um, so I was remembering the other day that um, uh, somebody was telling me that they, they used to change the speed of the playback of this video. So just here, yes, here on the right-hand side of your screen, there's a little circle that has like a, the settings icon on it. And if you go look in that, you can make me double time, which would be really fast, or you can make me half time. I remember one of the students, one of you guys would play me at half time. And that was a way that she slowed me down and that I was at a pace where she really felt like this was wholesome for her to do the class with. Um, so yeah, you can tweak the speed of me by pushing on the settings button there. So if you want to slow me down, you can, you're in control. If you want to speed me up, I think that'd be a bit full on. <laughs> oh, so funny. Um, so yeah, 
you have agency and control over the speed that I play back at. I'm not sure you can do it for the live version, but definitely on all the playback versions, you can slow me down. Um, so have a great day. Be well. How is the pausing going for you in your life? Um, it's making me think a lot. Um, so great. I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao. Mm -hmm.